Well, if you're looking to buy a home and you're on a budget, you may want to steer clear of Long Island. So realtors say that there's a boom in people wanting to buy, but not enough houses available. And as Fox 5's Jessica Formosa shows us, that supply and demand is sending prices skyrocketing. Home prices continue to rise across the country, but here on Long Island, some buyers have sticker shock. Just very high prices, um, very out of our budget, um, making it difficult and struggling to find what we want. The average home price for a single family home in Nassau County has hit $800,000. That's an 11.5% increase from last year and the highest prices we've seen since the pandemic. Now it's just uh, booming even more than it was last year. Jason Orsini is a licensed realtor on the island. He says the biggest driver in rising home prices, low inventory. We have very, very low inventory. And when I mean low inventory, if you want to use an, uh, an, a median number, you should have 150 to 200 homes for sale in every town in Nassau County, depending on how many homes there are. Right now, there's only 30 to 50. That is not a lot of homes. So even if the, the home inventory went up to 100 homes, that's still a seller's market. Joe and Taylor are currently living in Suffolk County. They recently started looking for their first home in Nassau County. We were hoping to try to get in something for around like 500,000, 550, and there's really nothing out there. The couple says the whole process of finding a home is exhausting. Most of the homes need work. So they're kind of seem like they're overpriced for what you're getting. Um, if they were like moving ready and beautiful, the prices would be still high, but not as bad. And yet they say it's a bidding war. If you go to a house that's listed for 800,000 that really should be listed you feel for like more like 650 700,000 but someone's bidding 850 on it so it's very very tough and discouraging making matters worse for buyers the interest rates exactly and taxes too i mean it all plays uh such a big role into making that monthly payment um, just bigger and bigger. Orsini says there are three things that will drive prices down. One, if the rates go up drastically. Two, if the inventory goes from 50 to 150 overnight. Or three, if we have an unforeseen natural disaster. Only time will tell. In Levittown, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.